Alright, this is our fourth video in our JavaScript tutorial series, and these videos are brought to you by Coto Island. Uh, the thing I want to do in this tutorial is experiment with JavaScript statements. So, you need to be careful that JavaScript is case sensitive, and I'm going to experiment a little with uh, document dot write statement so I'm gonna give it a parameter with a heading one this is take that out it's gonna look ugly this is my first statement and I'm gonna close the heading one close the double close, close parentheses, and run that through the browser so I'm going to see the same statement but with a heading one side I'm gonna go back to Dreamweaver and add another document.write statement and in this document.write I'm going to add a paragraph. This is my first paragraph. And I'm going to close the paragraph and close double quote and parenthesis. I'm going to see that in the browser again. Save. This is my first paragraph. Let me go back to Dreamweaver and make another paragraph. So this is another paragraph. You need to be careful. Uh, always finish your line with a semicolon. Of course, sometimes the browsers ignore that, as you've seen but it's healthier to do that you can always do, use the document dot write line statement hello dot write line As you can see, Dreamweaver is very helpful and is fixing a lot of, completing a lot of my statements. As you can see, a right line does not make a new line, so it doesn't make a carriage return. It wrote both statements, hello and who are you, on one line. Alright, that was our JavaScript statements tutorial. I hope you benefited from this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it. If you have any questions, uh, make the questions in the forum and we'll be happy to answer you. Thank you.